All right, we're going to try linear programming made easy. We're going to give you some real easy examples of how linear programming works, so pay attention. Okay, um, for, we're going to start off with uh, graph the system of constraints and name the vertices and find the values of x and y that maximize or minimize the objective function and in this case it's going to be p equals 3x plus 5. That might be a lot to swallow. In a business setting, a business person needs to know what their costs are, what their, how much they can sell, how much their supplies might be, and so their business model becomes a whole bunch of equations and they have to find the region, the feasible region, where all of these inequalities come together and then they identify the vertices where all of the lines cross each other and use those coordinates to plug into that profit uh, objective function which in this case where P was going to represent profit. So let's see if we can walk, walk through one of these. Okay, here is going to be our constraints. That's what we're going to actually be graphing. And please notice that X is greater than or equal to zero and Y is greater than or equal to zero mean that uh, this is only going to happen in the first quadrant, which is typical of anything real world. So on most of your um, problems, you're going to have x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0 to keep it in quadrant 1. All right, so let's take a look at this. And if I want to graph these, first of all, I'm going to change. I, I could just do this by um, uh, graphing the intercepts. But I can also change it to slope-intercept form, which would give me y is less than or equal to minus 3 halves plus 6. That means I'm going to start at 6, and I'm going to go down 3 into the right 2 until I get to the x-axis. And then I draw my line, and since this is a less than, and I know it's only in the first quadrant, the green area is what we have so far. Now let's put x plus uh, y is less than or equal to 5 there. So that means that I would go to five, 0, 5, and 5, 0 and draw my line. And I'm going to shade below that also. Now you can see that if I shade below the blue and below the red, I basically get this in between. And what I'm going to do to make it a little easier to see is I'm going to erase some of these lines. So this, it looks like a, uh, an oblique line that has a little bump in it. And that bump is a vertex. So I'm going to identify my vertices, which is... Um, one, two, three, four of them, and I have A is 0, 0, B is 0, 5, C is 2, 3, and D is 4, 0. Now C is the hardest one, and 2, 3 is pretty easy to see because it's very easy and it is right on the, right on the graph. But you might have to take the 3x plus 2y is less than 12 and x plus y is less than 5, and solve those simultaneously to, to verify that that point is 2, 3. But we're doing real simple examples here. So I'm going, I, since I want to maximize my um, object function, which is my profit here, I am going to plug the values in to the p function. And for the first one, I get 0. Plugging in um, b, plugging in 0 for x and 5 for y, I get 25. Plugging in 2 for x and 3 for y, I get 21. Plugging in 4 for x and 0 for y, I get 12. So now we want to maximize, since we want to maximize, 25 is the largest number. So that would mean that at 0, 5, that's where my function is at its maximum. Okay, let's try another one. <coughs> Excuse me. A lunch stand makes 75 cents profit on each chef's salad and $1.20 profit on each Caesar salad. On a typical weekday, it sells between 40 and 60 chef salads and between 35 and 50 Caesar salads. The total number of salads never exceed 100. So now we have to take what we have here and we have to make our constraints. The first thing is I want to know how many of each salad will I need to sell to maximize my profit. Okay, that's my that's my question. Well, my profit, or first of all, let's x is going to be let let x be the number of chef salads and y be the number of Caesar salads. Okay, my profit is going to be I'm going to make seventy five cents on each. I'm going to make a profit of seventy five cents on each chef salad and a profit of a dollar twenty on each Caesar salad. So that's what I'm going to try to maximize. Next, I know that x, which is my chef salads 
run between 40 and 60 on a typical weekday. And so I can write that as a compound inequality where x lies between 40 and 60. And I know that my Caesar salads will lie between 35 and 50. And the third thing I know is the sum of the two types of salads do not exceed 100. So I have x plus y is less than or equal to 100. And of course I need to ask, add my x is greater than 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. So now let's see what, so those are my constraints. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Now what we're going to do is graph these. And I'm going to put on the x-axis the number of chef salads because that's my x. And on the y-axis the number of Caesar salads because that's my y. And I'm going to go ahead and graph these. Well, x lies between 40 and 60. That means it's going to be in between those two um, vertical lines. And y is going to be between 35 and 50, so it's going to be between those two vertical lines. So that means my area that I'm looking for is right there. It's going to be constrained to that. And now I'm going to add, and of course we're in the first quadrant, so we don't have to, we already have drawn it that way, so we don't have to do anything with the x and the y, or the x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0, other than to draw it in the first quadrant. And now we want to put our x plus y equals 100, 100 line in there. And this is less than, so I'm going to shade below that line. So you can see I have the, my little uh, polygon that's in blue there. Now what I want to do is identify the, um, the vertices, which I've put little black dots there. And I did a little erasing here so we have a little more room. So my um, vertices are 40, 35, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 40, and 60, 35. So the last thing I have to do is plug in to my profit function, uh, 0.75x plus 1.2y, and solve and see which one comes out the biggest. Now please make sure that you use, can use a calculator to get these right answers because you can get all this way and make an arithmetic mistake and get the wrong final answer. So for 4035 has a value of 72, for 4050 has a value of 90, for 50-50 has a value of 97.5, for 60-40 has a value of 93, and for 60-35 has a value of 87. And that means that our point 50-50 is our, our biggest profit. So what does that mean? Well, there's the point. We need to sell 50 chef salads and 50 Caesar salads to, make the max, to maximize the profit. So anyhow, folks, have a good time and uh, get ready for your test. Bye.